In this video, I'm going to show you how to motion track in Wondershare Filmora X. So let's get started. <laughs> So here I am in Wilshire Filmora X and I've got this footage right here. It's a video of a mountain by Ruven Mike Sansky from Pexels. And here as you can see I've got my footage loaded up onto my timeline as well. And if I play it here as you can see it's just a normal drone footage. You now the quality is very low because I just decreased the playback rate so that I can get a smooth screen recording. So now the first thing you want to do is that you have to drop in whatever media you want that should follow the part of the footage that you're going to be motion tracking. So here I've got this location icon right here. It looks pretty cool as you can see. I'm going to be placing this icon on this part of the mountain so that this icon starts following that part of the mountain. So the first thing you want to do is you'll have to select the media that you want to follow the part of the motion track footage and just decrease and adjust the dimension at the property so that it's perfectly fitting in the exact location of the footage we're going to be motion tracking to follow. Let me just drop it right here at this exact spot. Perfect. Here just click on OK. You can even add a bit of an effect if you want like a drop shadow or something like that. Let me just click on OK. Now just click on the eyeball icon right here to hide the location icon. And now once you're done, we just start double click on the footage you want to track. In the video tab, you'll find this drop down menu that says motion tracking. Just expand that drop down menu and just check the box that says motion tracking. And then a small box right here will appear on your screen. That'll, that'll look like this and it should be much bigger. Just adjust the size of it and just place it exactly where you want to track. And make sure you've kept your playhead at the exact beginning of the footage. And once you're done with that, just click on the start tracking button. And then just wait for it to completely track the whole footage. So now here as you can see it's right now tracking that exact location of the mountain. Now once it's done tracking you'll find this new drop down menu right here. Just open it up and then here you can select all the media that is on your timeline so that it tracks that exact location. Let me just click on the eyeball icon to unhide the location icon. And let me just head on over to this drop down menu once again. And then let me just select this one. So now let me just go ahead and click on OK. And if I play the footage from the beginning, here as you can see we've got the location icon right now following this particular part of the mountain. Let me just put it in full screen to show you guys the end result. So now here as you can see we've successfully motion tracked the icon so that it tracks that very part of the mountain. If you find this video helpful make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any questions you can put it down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.